Okay, on the assessing concerns, Mr. Randy Better had uh, FOIA'd for records for the tax roll. He said he looked at four or five pieces of property that he states Earl was treating some residents better than others on their taxes. Mr. Better state, stated that he had an expert that was not only an assessor, but also a teaching uh, assessing, and he thought there was something wrong with our tax roll, with the heirs. He has not, he is not on lake frontage property, but he does have access to Burgess Lake. He does live down a private drive on uh, Lake Drive. Mr. Better also said there's something not right with Earl. He is either incompetent or corrupt. Mr. Peterson also said there's something wrong with the assessing rule. On May 4th, we had the BSNA come out and do assessing. Um, the 2011 assessment data, analyst finding, and recommendation. The first section of the report has stated values of total grant township and the values from the assessing database is synchronized with the state official totals. There are no parcels that are taxable in the assessment database that have overriding values. See report six, section two. All the parcels from the market by the assessor, which is required. The local assessing database totals are in reports three and four and five, and they can be made public. Brenda has the only printed out copy of it. Um, the assessor had a hard copy of the assessment rule and a digital copy on data. The gentleman that did our audit on our roll said the assessor would pass this portion of the state 14 point review with no trouble. Bottom line is the assessment role has a balanced total documents for the value modeling for 2010 assessment value as required by the state of Michigan. The gentleman said that he was fortunate to do, review our data all over the state of Michigan and Grant Township for 2011 and that Earl has done a better than typical job assessing our taxes. No assessment role is perfect in any area of the state but we would definitely pass the 14-point review that was gave to Earl. On July 14, 2010, I, Diana Burgess, gave Earl the same 14-point review from the state. Uh, I went to a meeting. I had Lansing send me the 14-point review, and it was done. There was questions in it, and from the auditor's point of view, he can see nothing wrong with our taxes. The, Report I did on Earl was basically the same 14 point view. It cost the township nothing. The one that everybody else thought needed to be done because we had a professional assessor look at the tax roll and say that it was wrong is the same as the one I did and it cost the township money. You said that this audit was the exact same thing that you did. You took the 14 point review questionnaire and had Earl fill it out. Mm -hmm. But I don't think that's the same thing that this guy did. It's very close. It's a 14-point review. You can read the book. It states in there that it is the same. It's a 14-point review. I had Earl go over that. We checked for each issue that the state would come in and take the 14-point review, and it all checked out. This matches this. If you find a problem with it, maybe you need to contact the state. But the assessor that works for BSNA and works for all over the state of Michigan had no trouble with it. Uh, you had trouble, Mrs. Peterson had trouble with it, Mr. Peterson and Mr. Better had trouble with it. I think we had residents that had complaints and well, that's I'm, why we... Mr. Better. Yeah, I mean, we, had, we, we voted to have this done. Right. right. The and whole board voted to have this done. It's matchy. And, and it's good that it came right. out. It's right. great that it came out. Was there any discrepancies that BSNA found they call out any discrepancies? <coughs> I'd have to further research into it and read the whole, complete, entire breakdown. I had it sent in format, and I had nothing to print it on to read it. And I guess my comment is, my my bone of contention with Earl was not the state 14 point review. It was the discrepancy between <coughs> Alma Lake 
Young's Lake, and Burgess Lake. That's always been my bone of contention, that all but one property on Burgess Lake went up substantially, over 7%. I didn't see that same increase on Young's Lake. As I read it, it looked like the ECFs for each area, they have demographical areas for lakes. Um, well, I mean, just, the, they just all, a few. There's a different few. comparables. Of course, Young's Lake is different than Burgess Lake. And, uh, exactly my point. There's, there's where the problem started. The two homes that supposedly sold on Young's Lake for more than market value, again, I'll state it again, Young's Lake is an all sports lake. Burgess is not. Uh, that's where the two homes sold that started this. And when, and when all of the properties but one on Burgess Lake go up, and the ones I pulled on Alma Lake and on Young's Lake didn't go up or didn't go up, but a minuscule less than 1%. That's my bone of contention. Okay. That couple As with, I read it, it looks like it's all complete. I can check with uh, Dan, the assessor that did the tax roll and ask him and I can get back with you on that question. Would you please? And you can also contact Earl at his office in Green Township. I contacted him and asked him to come tonight, but as we all know, he's a township supervisor for another township and he was at that meeting. We did have that meeting a couple months back um, to where Earl was in here for questioning and I think we only had 11 township residents show up to that. I can call him back in. We can have another special meeting and have Earl come in and over this and maybe we can get Dan in also.